Hello everybody, this is Elias with DH Tech Support and today I wanted to do a quick video showing you how to create your first um, HTML page from scratch. We're going to use a tool called uh, Notepad++ which is a web editor that you can use it. it's for free. I'm going to have the link in the description of this video so you can download it. But yeah, now let's get started with that. Um, I think it'll be pretty fun for you to get started with that. If you're looking to get into the web design business and you want to know what is the first thing you need to do before you create um, before you continue to make those nice web pages, what is the first thing you have to have? So um, let's get started on that. So like I said, if you download um, Notepad++, basically it's going to look like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and change the size of it just to make it a little bigger for you so you can actually see as I do and as I edit the, the page. So uh, the first thing you need is a doc type. So doc type would actually look something somewhat like this. Um, doc type. The doc type tells the uh, web browser, it tells it um, what kind of document it is. So, pretty much doc type HTML. So, if you have Mozilla Firefox, or if you have Chrome, or you have um, Safari, this will tell it exactly what kind of document it is. So, when it, so it's, it'll be easier for um, the browser to open it and go from there. So, once you type in your doc type, the next thing you want to type in is HTML. The second thing you want to add is a head. The head. And then after that, you want to put a title. So your title. And in this title, you can label the title. Um, let's say you want to, you have a name for a page on you can put my web page for example and then after that you want to close that title and this is how you would close um, usually you start with these two characters when you when you're gonna close um, something or we'll put an end to it for now so title Boom. Okay. that makes it close right? So the next thing that you want to type in is, you actually want to close the heading too, of course. Um, that closes that in there too. If you ever want to add CSS, you want to put your CSS um, link to connect to the CSS document um, right here in this, in this part right here. It will literally go to that document, read it. And uh, in case you don't know what CSS is, it's a uh, cascading style sheets. And what that does is um, it's how you style your web page. So um, it connects to an external file that you create as well. And with that external file, what that does is it'll just send back information, what kind of color background your page is going to be, all that cool stuff. I mean, you can actually put um, CSS right into your HTML page. But really, it's better to actually have an external HTML, uh, I mean CSS um, document that actually tells it, tells your document everything, your HTML document everything that it needs to know. So um, you can put that link on there. I actually have a video that I created a while ago, and I'm also going to link that into the description of this video so you can actually learn how to meet, how to actually put that information in there, and uh, how to create the document. So that's going to be that video. Make sure to check it out because. It'll, it'll definitely help you if you're a new designer. So the next thing um, that you want to do is you put your head. Since we're not going to use the head right now, uh, we're going to go to the next part, which is the body. We're going to close the body. Actually, no, we're going to create a body inside. The body, you have to create a body first. And the body, this is pretty much what all the content is going to be. All the visual content that you're going to have on that web page is going to go there. Then the second part um, of this is you were, you can create um you want to close your body oh. I cannot type today for some reason as <laughs> right, so you close the body but then you also want to close it. if you see up here you got the HTML you also want to close your HTML and tell the document this is the final part of the page so um, you can go uh, let's see Give you an example, it would look something like that. HTML, and you've closed that document. The HTML, 
Now over here between the body and the in between in, in the body section here, this is where you want to put all your all your information. You can put photos in here using code. There's also a tutorial um, on this channel that shows you how to add images. So I'm also going to link it as well into this video. But yeah, you'll be able to put your images in here. You'll be able to put um, text if you want to write a paragraph about a page. If you want to create an about page, um, you can actually put about here. And it'll, it'll actually show up at the top of the screen. So for example, I'm going to save this now just to show you. Save it over here. And I'm going to run it over here on the um, on Chrome so you can see it. As you can see in the top, this is my web page. I don't know if you can see up here. This is my web page. But if you were to um, if you were to go back there and edit it again and type in about, for example, and you were, you were to save it, and you were to go back to um, that Chrome page and were to refresh it, it it'll change right right to about, as you can see. So that's pretty much it. I'm actually gonna oh, let me actually try one more thing just so that so that you see what I'm what I'm going for here. Um, so you put it. Let's say you want to put an H1. H1 will be how you write text um, into your computer, into your um, document to make it bigger, to make it smaller. You can put H1, H2, H3, and so forth. So um, hello everyone. And then you want to close that up. H1. And you can put a. Let's see, H2. Okay. Hope, hope everyone is okay. Okay. And you want to close that out, of course. So I've added two texts uh, here, and um, you want to save it. Once you go um, back to your Chrome where that document is, you see you that information is there in different sizes, and you can actually you know start creating a div. Which there's also a tutorial uh, on this channel how to create a div. So I think that should be everything that you need to know in regards to that. I mean I think if I think with this tutorial you should be able to start your own page and work with that um, should you need any more help. So signing off, this is Elias. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit the little bell notification to the side because I'm going to be having more videos um, as we go and so it's definitely interesting if you're trying to learn how to do web design. I also want to eventually get into um, creating uh, more responsive websites too. That's going to be a little bit more advanced so I just want to make sure that um, everyone knows the fundamentals first and then we go from there. Signing off, this is Elias. Take care, everybody.